when we get to July 1993. But man, the audience was ready. We also see Barry here. He comes out, causes, like I said, that DQ. He was clad in all black, and uh, he had a successful title defense against two Cold Scorpio earlier that night. Uh, and it might seem trivial, but Barry wore red tights with red and white Austin Hall boots when he wrestled you at Slamboree. What about these black tights? Does it make it more obvious? Hey, he indeed is the heel in this program. Or is it a throwback to his father, maybe, Blackjack? Or it would just... Or does it co matter? Coincidence. And nobody, okay. We'd, none of us thought about it in those days. I mean, I'm, I'm no baby face. And just wearing white tights and those white and blue boots, it was just... It, I don't know that it had a meaning other than the fact that it let you know that I was a tan son of a gun. <laughs> He was. More so than it having any meaning as far as the wrestling world. It was just, hey, damn, that guy's been out in the sun. Yeah, if he was wearing red and black, it didn't mean he was going to be extra ornery that night. No, it right. just that was his color scheme. I got gotcha. you. He liked those colors. Well, listen, finally, this uh, clash featured the debut of Michael Buffer as a special announcer for major events. No shit. Yep. It was his first event. He would go on to be the guest announcer for the company for the next eight years, Arn. Do you think bringing a guy like Buffer in for that event was designed to make Flair, his return, even feel more special? No, I think it was them starting to have a guy. You know, he was red hot from the UFC stuff, making those announcements. Yeah, the his boxing, voice, yeah, yeah. And by, you know, when I say UFC. Yeah, his brother does UFC. Same thing, though. I was wrong though. about that. Yeah, boxing. And that's yep. what he was known from. But boxing was red hot back then. You had yep. a lot of stars. And that just took something from another dimension and, and boxing fans. And maybe, you know, they cut on wrestling and they went, hey, there's a crossover. That's our that's our ring announcer, you know. And he had that booming, fantastic yeah. voice. It was it dressed up our product. It really did. So you were a fan of the Michael Buffer I was. Yeah. Yes, of course. I like it, too. Let's get ready to rumble. I mean, that guy has made money. It's licensed. It's his. And uh, and, and it does. It just brings like a next. He's still doing it for football games. Smart man. Yeah. So pretty cool.